this is really exciting. So I am on beautiful East Outer Drive, which is a boulevard, very desirable in Detroit, very desirable place to live. And I'm gonna show you this house behind me. And what's exciting is that this is a house hack and it's actually a double house hack. So you have to watch to the end and you're gonna know what I mean about it being a double house hack. So if you don't know what a house hack is, this is the way a lot of investors start off making their wealth. They live in one part of the house and they rent out the other part of the house and the rent from the other part of the house pays their mortgage. And it's brilliant, but wait till you see. So I happen to have an early showing of this. It's about to be listed, but you see the porch there. They're rebuilding all the cement. It's gonna be a beautiful cement porch. So there's just a couple little things left to be done. It's not listed yet, but I'm giving you an early viewing and I don't have the price that it's gonna be listed for yet either. So what I suggest is give me an offer and I will have my contact information below. I'm serious. Give me an offer. Let's see how this goes. Here it is. Do your comps about this beautiful neighborhood and it's got the upstairs and the downstairs. And I will show you at the end, like I said, what the double house hack is, but check out this two car garage. We'll get to that later, but I'm gonna go in the back door because they're rebuilding the front porch. And you see, you know, we've got a couple more things left here, barely anything. So you're getting an early viewing. So we'll start here as though I walked in on the brand new front porch and you're met with a coat closet. Now wait till you see this living room, you guys. It's ready for a rental, for like a midterm rental or like an Airbnb. It is ready to go. How cute is this? so pretty with the curtains and everything and the fireplace and it's got the mirror up here it is good to go and then it's got this really pretty dining room love the light fixture and let's go in here bedroom all set ready for your renter with a dresser and a mirror. And then there's this bedroom too, which is so perfect. It is like a walk-in, easy money to start right off the bat, making some money. And the bathroom is so nice. Double flush toilet, beautiful deep tub. Tubs are not this deep in new homes. These are the solid, wonderful tubs. Now let's look at the kitchen. So let me pause this tour quick. I'm Monique Burns. I am a real estate broker and I know the sellers and this isn't listed yet. We haven't done the comps to figure out the price. So if you are interested, please contact me because I'm curious what you think it's worth. This is East Outer Drive. I can't give you the address obviously, but this is such a beautiful house. Um, my husband and I, we buy houses in Detroit. We renovate them and we sell them to investors who are looking for rentals. This is different. Now this one was bought by somebody else. They came in, they renovated it. Definitely reach out to me. I am curious. What do you think of this place? What would you pay for it? And I would love to sell it to you. Thanks so much for watching. If you are appreciating this, a subscribe is greatly helpful. Thank you. So stove, microwave, dishwasher, beautiful cabinets, but look inside. We are ready for your renters. Look at that. And then we go over here. Do you see the coffee maker? Uh-huh. And look at the mugs, they're so cute. And in the drawers. There you're good. They've got everything that you need already here. All right, look at this. Cool, recycle bin, garbage can. And then this above it, it's all such good stuff in here. It's going to have a refrigerator right there too. This is one of those nice opens, you know, automatic closing, soft close. Soft close. Yeah, yeah. So now 
we will go outside and go upstairs to where you could live while this one is, oh, what's in here? Oh, that's the way to the basement. Forgot about the basement. That's not even the double house head, you guys. So we're gonna go upstairs and I'll show you where you would live. So this neighbor here and I'll show you. This neighbor here could not be lovelier, butter neighbors. Look how nice that fence row is. Isn't that great? Here's the side of the house. Solid brick house cannot beat that. All right, let's go to where you could very, very comfortably live. See that even all the hardware is nice. So we walk in to your kitchen with counter space and with a dishwasher, which I think is already ordered, I'm not really sure. And refrigerator, it might just be a hookup for it because this would be the person who buys the house where they would live. I don't, I don't actually know. That could be negotiable, you know? Are you thinking about your price yet? What you would pay for this? There's the pantry. And look how big this living room is. It's like cavernous. And there are two bedrooms up here. Now this little porch, I think I would find a way to climb out the window and sit on it, just saying. Um, a bedroom here. You know, these are good size bedrooms. That's what's nice about these big old houses. The bedrooms aren't itty bitty. Like in a typical bungalow, they're pretty small. And beautiful floor. Nicely refinished. And a second bedroom up here. Also pretty spacious. You know, with closets. What is this? Two closets. Oh, I bet that one might go down. No, I was thinking maybe it went to the basement. No, just another good closet. Okay, and the bathroom, once again, one of those cavernous bathtubs. They say that's where you go during a natural disaster because they're safe. <laughs> Tornado, I guess. We don't have natural disasters in Detroit. Double flush toilet. Look at the beautiful hardware. Nice. All right, so are you ready for, I don't know, basement or the double house hack? Let's just do the double house hack. Save the basement for the end. So. You probably already guessed it. It's this garage. And you can see how tall this garage is. Let's go in there and I am gonna show it to you. So these are, uh, these both have garage door openers, both these garages. Hey, I kept this one open. You can see they're still finishing up, you know, with supplies and stuff around. So you come in here and it just looks like a storage space, but let me show you the potential up here as I talk and climb these stairs. <laughs> all right, so I'm not going all the way up, but if you see that pipe there, you know there's plumbing. And then look, that's a sink. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. And look how big this room is. Do you not see potential up here? I mean, what would you do with this room? Comment below, like what would you do with it? I think it's just so super cool. Now we can go to the basement. Get to the basement. If you're living up there, that's your door to the basement. But I'm gonna take the rental units entrance to the basement because that's already open. Is it right here? Here we go. I gotta say, that whole rental unit, it even smells good. I don't know what they did in there, but it smells awfully good. Check this out, oh my gosh, this is my first time seeing it. I love it when there's walls in a basement. All right, so, oh, no way. Half, okay, we're not gonna get too close. I like the lids down. Okay, half bath there. We'll be getting new furnaces before somebody moves in. 
So this is one person's side. So there's private areas. That is so nice. So each renter gets their own half of the basement. Okay, so this means washer and dryer hook up here. And that would be dryer vent. Two electric panels. And then there's this side over here, which must be your side if you're upstairs, I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, this is nice. It clean and bright. Washer and dryer must come with it. Yeah, look at all that storage. I love storage. And the water hookup. That's it. So no, you can't make more rooms down here. But there is that garage. Okay, okay so quick correction. This side would be the landlord who lives upstairs because all the mechanicals are in there. And this side would be for the first floor renter.